hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to walk you through how you can set up android studio on a mac os machine so first of all open up a browser of your choice i'll choose safari for this time search for android studio so you will be presented with these results and now you can press the first link which says download android studio and sdk tools this is the official website of android studio where you can download it on this website you can see the preview of android studio and its features uh, once you're ready you can press this download android studio button and you will be presented with this terms and condition once you agree with the terms and condition, you can proceed to click this checkbox uh, which states you have read and agreed with the terms and condition. Now you can choose between the two versions of Android Studio, uh, one which supports Apple MacBooks with Intel chips and the other one which supports MacBooks with the Apple chip. Since I have a MacBook with the M1 chip, I'll go with this button. So I'll press it and it will start downloading. Now it will take quite a few minutes, so I'll come back when it completes downloading. Now as you can see Android Studio have completed downloading, uh, I'll press this show in finder button. Uh, all I have to do is now double click it and press open. So you can see uh, Android Studio has been uh, loading. So this is my new installation so I do not want to import any settings. I'll press ok. And uh, also I don't want to send any user statistics, uh, let's just press don't send. And yeah, it is showing me some uh, notification about Kotlin update. I'll press update and let it do it in the background. The welcome screen has come up. Uh, this says the wizard will set up your development environment for Android Studio. I'll press next. And now I'll go with the standard installation as it says. Oh, so since the Kotlin was updating, I have to restart it. So let's just press restart. Yeah, let's continue the process, press next and just continue with the standard installation and I'll use the regular theme. Okay, so this shows the components which will be installed by Android Studio. So let's just press finish and let it install the software. Uh, I'll just wait until this Android Studio downloads all the things and come back. Okay, so now Android Studio has downloaded and installed all the required stuff. So I'll press finish. And yeah, Android Studio is pretty much ready to create a new project. I'll press a new project and for now I'll choose a basic activity and press next. And I'll just keep the defaults and make a my application under Android Studio projects folder. Uh, I'll choose Kotlin as the main language and choose Marshmallow as the uh, minimum API level and press finish. So Android Studio will create a new project for us. I'll just uh, create a full screen for the window. And yeah, this is what's new in the Arctic Fox version of Android Studio. You can read this. And now Android Studio will download Gradle and update the indexes. Uh, let's just wait for it. Okay, so Gradle is pretty much done with downloading and setting up all the things. Now it's updating the indexes for all the downloaded things. Uh, actually, all these things uh, occur only when the first time the app is created. Uh, maybe I can show you by closing the project and reopening it to see how much long it takes to reopen the project. So I'll press the close project button and press it again. And you can see it's almost pretty instant. Uh, I'm pretty much impressed with how Android Studio performs on the new Apple M1 chip. Ok so now we can uh, go ahead and create an android virtual device. Uh, so uh, maybe uh, while the installing process android studio already created a new uh, emulator for us. I'll just press and launch it. Uh, you can see it's uh, loading and I'll allow it. Yeah here's the emulator, it's starting up. Okay, so the emulator has uh, started up 
and we can go ahead and launch the application so i'll just uh, resize the windows and so take it alongside okay so for the first time when you install android studio and try to run the app you might get this error that uh, android studio failed to load some sdk packages uh, since the licenses have not been accepted so uh, what i found that was uh, sdk tools wasn't correctly installed so what i have to do is remove the package again and press ok and go to the sdk manager again and install the sdk build tools for the for the second time so now this time you have to accept this license and it will uh, actually do the process for us Okay, so now it's done and I'll try to run the app again. So yeah, the app is building right now. Since this is the first build, it might take some time. Okay, so the app has started running on the device. Uh, we can see that the app is working fine. And yeah, this was pretty much it for installing Android Studio. Uh, you can close this project from here. Uh, yeah, we can terminate the process. And this is pretty much it for the video guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next videos where I'll be setting up VS Code and other things on my system. Uh, so let's meet in the new video.